morning, everyone. I like to call this meeting to an order. Thank you for joining us during our weekly hybrid MLS breakfast meeting. My name is Victoria Stapleton from Masters Realty, and I am your June program chair. Okay, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yolanda will be running. <laughs> Please so face the flag and put your, go ahead, she'll tell you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day. So please join me in honoring our flag in our country. Please place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we now have our inspiration quote. Nancy Chen will be giving that to us. I love Jim Rome. And the people that you've gone to him knows that he's one of the best. So I got a quote from him and it says, if you're not willing to risk the unusual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. He's really very wise. So you guys buy his quotes. His little book, I love it. I keep it in my desk. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I am here today to say goodbye. After four consecutive week of MLS meeting, I want to take this opportunity to thank the MLS committee chair, Sheng, and, and uh, Nanette, vice chair of the MLS committee, and for their support and guidance to in conducting these meetings. I've learned so much from the presentation and affiliate spotlight. It has been an honor and a priv privilege to have been your June program chair. Thank you. And if you want to know more about me, read my bio. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, if you're a member and would like to make an announcement, please fill out an announcement form located to my left. Return completed form to Angie today. Thank you. A few housekeeping tips. All participants on Zoom will be muted upon entry to the MLS breakfast meeting. And should you have a question or a comment, please remember to enter into the chat box. Please remember to join us weekly as we have our hybrid MLS breakfast meeting every Thursday at 9 a.m. As always, this meeting is being recorded and will be available online on our YouTube channel, West San Gabriel Valley Realtors. Please remember to follow the uh, WSGV, our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also watch our pre-recorded videos on YouTube. Join, uh, join our text message group. For update, text WSGVR to the number 888-301-2201. Today's agenda consists of our affiliate spotlight, Henry Wang, Law Office of Henry Wang, and our guest speaker, Sandy Franco, First American Home Warranty, Yonita Wu, Home Warranty of America. Just a re reminder that to be eligible for today's drawing, you must be WSGVR member and be in person at the association. We will be having attendance drawing, Amazon gift card drawing, and a 50-50 raffle. Today, our affiliate spotlight will be brought to you by the affiliate committee chair, Lena Sankari of US Bank, and vice chair, Teresa Wynn of Loan Direct. Take it away, Henry. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Henry Wang. I'm an estate planning attorney. Uh, so if you guys have clients who need help with estate planning needs or personally you, you need estate planning, I'd be happy to help you with that, setting up a trust. Um, I think you guys know if you guys own a home, you should definitely put that house into a trust to protect your family and protect your assets. So I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Um, so a little bit about myself personally. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a local boy. I grew up uh, uh, in, in Alhambra. My parents came to the United States when I was seven years old. And uh, we've been here since, yeah, since that time. Um, yeah, I went to Alhambra High School and afterwards I, I um, uh, went to UCLA and then Loyola Law School. Um, so some things, those fun things about myself, I, I, I'm, I'm a big, I guess you could call me a nerd. <laughs> I like to go to comic book conventions. And so this picture is of me and Mark Ruffalo 
about a year ago. Um, I got his autograph. Um, so I would, this was something I like to do. I'd like to go to conventions on weekends. Um, this is about a couple years, a few years ago. Uh, this is me and Stan Lee. If you guys know who Stan Lee is, he's like the godfather of, of comic books. Yeah. And so, um, you know, you guys, heard of the, you guys heard of the term house poor. Uh, I'm stuff poor. I, I, <laughs> over the years, I've gone to a lot of conventions. I collected a lot of stuff, got stuff signed by Stan Lee and other famous people. So I'm, I'm stuff poor. So. <laughs> Um, so another thing is you guys are probably thinking this guy must be single, right? He's going to these conventions, but the reality is I, I do, <laughs> I do have a girlfriend. Um, so this is us. Um, the first picture is of us from, from back in 2004, um, our high school prom. And then, so the picture was taken a year ago. So you can tell she's gotten a lot prettier, but I've, I've gotten a lot luckier. So, uh, okay. Um, if you guys want to know more about me or if you guys want to talk about estate planning, um, that's my information up there. You can always catch me in the back. I'm more than happy to talk. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Henry. Please remember to support our affiliates with your transactions. We will now have our affiliate introduction for today. All paid affiliates present today, please line up at the front. Please, no promotions. And this is a morning greeting only. We will begin with affiliates in person. Please walk toward the door after the greeting. This is Judy, a loan officer, and have a happy Dragon Ball Festival day. Thank you. Guess what? It is May in lunar calendar. So happy May festival and go to Ha Long Zhou. So tamale, Chinese tamale, okay? All right. Super mortgage, chat, chat, chat. Janet Lowe, ACG funding. Have a good day. Good morning. My name is Cosmo Sanchez, and I am a mortgage lender with New AIM funding. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Sandy Franco, First American Home Warranty. Good morning. My name is Phoebe Liu. I'm from Visas Bank. I'm a local commercial as a home loan officer. Thank you, you guys, a wonderful day. Good morning, my name is Teresa Lam with Corinthian Title Company. Today is our Chinese festival called, uh, in Cantonese is Zhong Wu Ji. And that's where we make those Chinese tamale. And I know the story behind it. And you want to know what it's all about, come and ask me. <laughs> Good morning, you need a woo from Home Warranty for America, the 13 months Home Warranty. And these dumplings, I mean, the tongzi make me hungry now, so I want some. Good morning, everyone. Derek Talbert, CST Insurance. Have a good day. Good morning, Bob Chu with Champion Escrow. Good morning, everyone. Joe Haggerty, Orange Coast Title. Have a great day. Good morning, everyone. Lucia Tam representing CARPA, Chinese American Real Estate Professionals Association. Good morning. This is Annie Fan, Chicago Title. Have an amazing day. Good morning, everyone. Brandon Savransky with First American NHD. Have a fantastic day. Good morning, everyone. Sage Gomez with my NHD. Have a great day. Good morning, John Sun, Budget Blinds, and happy summer. Good morning, everybody. Oriana Chan with Prime Lending. Hello. Good morning. Sue Chong with the Casa Management for all your short-term rental needs. Good morning. This is Feng Shui Master. Master Alex, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Alba Moy from Moy Eskern Alhambra. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, everybody. Richard Zaletta, ACG Funding. Good morning, everyone. Jacqueline Chu from Champion Escrow. Good morning, Nancy Chan again, Lawyer's Title. Thank you. Good morning, Alina Chu from Glen Oaks Escrow. Have a fantastic day. A beautiful day it is. Eduardo Higuchi with New York Life. Good morning, Jeff Berg with Western Rooter Plumbing. Good morning, everyone. Esther Chow with HSBC Bank and also our Richard County Chapter. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Yolanda Martinez Arenas, WFG National Title Company. Have an awesome and productive day. 
Good morning, David Tran with Home Guard Home Warranty. Have a wonderful sunny day. Thank you. Next, we will call on affiliates who are joining us virtually. First one is John Wax. Good morning, everyone. John Wax with Snap and HD Natural Hazard Disclosures. Happy summer. Wishing you a wonderful day and a great upcoming weekend. And next we have, uh, I think Teresa is already been, is here. Okay, so Judy, oh, Judy's here too, so never mind. Okay, next, the West, the WSGVAR Foundation is doing a silent auction each week. Please visit the silent auction table to bid on items. We are happy to introduce open pitch to our hybrid MLS breakfast meeting. Reminder, if you would like to pitch your listing, you must go to the www.wsgvar.com. Click on open pitch, fill out the caravan request form and submit it no later than Tuesday midnight of the week so that you want to pitch. Today, we have three listing features. First, we have Dora Young of Coldwell Banker George Realty. The floor is yours, Dora. Thank you, Victoria. If anyone know in the city of Monterey Park about 1950 star market, this is the jam for long-term leasing for anyone who want to do supermarket operator. Attention buying real estate agents, prepare to be captivated by an unparalleled investment opportunity. 350 East Garvey Avenue across of the Jade Plaza. This is 11,000 square footage with three parcel two parking lot at the back and adjacent of the building. The operator and owner right now is inventorating the uh, stucco and also inside and out. The new electrical system, the new roof, and uh, also everything inside we have uh, so totally facade. So we will look forward to have someone who interests about with experience and operating for grocery supermarket. This is a community anchor for 40 years. Please let me know if there's someone who interests about this. I have uh, all the flyers in detail for the uh, more information. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Sean Zen of Remax My Home. Good morning, everyone. For the wine lovers, this is the house for you. Uh, four, five, six, five, eight, good numbers. Honeysuckle Court in Temecula. It's beautifully updated with many upgrades. Uh, property features five bedroom, three bath. There's one bedroom, one bath downstairs. Brand new high quality wood floor. Uh, spacious open floor plan and contemporary interior design with, many, uh, with uh, living space over 3000 square footage. Uh, built in 2006. Um, great school district only asking 869 lockbox on the front. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now let's welcome Catherine Cadwell of DPP Real Estate. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm Catherine Davis Caldwell from um, DPP in Pasadena. I'm part of the Pasadena Foothills Association of Realtors. So it's very nice to be here this morning. Um, I have a, thank you. I have a listing, co-listing on uh, North Burton Avenue. Um, it's a detached condo, but I can't stress enough how much it feels and looks like a single family home for, for those. So for those agents uh, who have buyers who are strictly looking for single family homes, you might want to consider checking this out. Um, it's ample. It's over 2000 square feet. Um, it's got four bedrooms, three full bathrooms. All bedrooms are upstairs. Um, except there's one bedroom on the ground floor uh, with a bathroom on the ground floor, which is great for in-laws or guests or you know, whatever you need. There's a separate laundry room. There's an attached two-car two -car garage with uh, EV charging capabilities. Um, it's a great home. It's really lovely and spacious and it's brand new construction, which isn't um, that common in San Gabriel. So um, I'm having an open house today from 11 to two and also an evening twilight from 5.30 to 7.30. As well, I'll be open this weekend, one to four. Um, aside from the showings, it is on Supra, but uh, showings need to be scheduled through showing time and a CBS code will be provided. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. It's 5563 North Burton, yes. At this time, I would like to welcome Judy Chow with AAA Capital Investment, who will be our moderator for today. 
and we'll be introducing our panelists. Okay, good morning. I'd like to introduce the two panelists today. We have Sandy Franco from First American Home Warranty and Unita Wu from Home Warranty of America. It's an all girl show today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they're very knowledgeable. So we're gonna start with the question and we have about 10 minutes left in the end for you to have other questions. So I start with Sandy Franco. Um, if your home inspection says the water heater has exceeded its lifespan, is it still covered by the home warranty? Yes, it is. As long as the home inspection says that it's functional, then it doesn't matter how old it is. It's still covered by the home warranty. So don't let that deter your clients. As long as it says it's functional, it'll be covered by the home warranty. Thank you. Uh, you need a uh, first question. Can we purchase home warranty for existing home own owners? Yes, we can. So we do sell the home warranty for existing homeowners. Just um, reach out to your rep and then we could be able to um, order them for them under the real estate transaction. Uh, second question for Sandy. Can you add or change coverage after escrow closes? Yes. So each company might have their own time frame in which they can do that. Um, ours is 60 days and others might be 30. But generally speaking, most home warranties let you change coverage up to for example, 60 days after escrow closes, but you can't change coverage because something has failed to add coverage. So it has to be, you can change things, but you can't say, oh, my refrigerator broke. I need to add refrigerator coverage. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, second question for Yuda. Uh, do home warranty cover HVAC refrigeration? Is there a dollar limit? There is no dollars limit. We pay fully 100%. It's a refrigerant. It's basically, if you don't know, it's the Freon that you put it in inside the air conditioning when the air conditioning is not cold. So summer is coming. The sun is actually already here since um, this week, right? So it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. That's the time when your client mostly call for saying that my AC is not cold and then that's what you put it in. Third question for Sandy. Is there a waiting period before you can use your warranty? For most transactions that are going through um, escrow, there's no waiting period. Once escrow closes, the warranty is effective and they can place claims right away. If warranties are purchased outside of escrow, some companies may have a waiting period. So that's something you need to ask to make sure. Uh, First American, the policies I sell don't, but there are other policies with First American that do. So just Matt, you have to ask the question, but if it's going through a real estate transaction, then no, there's no waiting period. The day escrow closes, it's effective even if payment hasn't been received. They can place claims the day escrow closes. Do home warranty company cover unknown pre-existing conditions? Yes, we do cover the unknown pre-existing condition when it means unknown. Basically, when you did the home inspection, everything check out good condition. So if it show already there's a problem, that means it's already a known issue, then the home warranty company don't cover that. But then you could get that fixed repair first. And then once it's back to normal, then the home warranty company uh, covers it. But we do cover the unknown pre-existing, which means everything checked out good. And then maybe you move in, something happened, then we will cover it for you. Oh, good. Uh, number four question for Sandy. Can you make monthly payments instead of paying the home warranty through escrow? can't speak for all home warranty companies, but we do that now. You can make monthly payments. If the transaction is not part of the contract, then absolutely the homeowner can make monthly payments instead of it having it being paid through escrow. Okay, thank you. Um, number four question for you, Anita. Are systems and appliance cover regardless of age? Uh, we don't care about the age. Uh, once again, once everything is normal, then we will cover it. So there is no age restriction. It has to be normal wear and tear. Okay. Um, num number five question for uh, Sandy. What are some red flags you find when it comes to HVAC that may cause claim to be denied by home warranty? So what we've done here is we've taken some of the home inspection uh, questions that were supposed to be on the panel and home warranty is just going to jump in here and answer them. Okay. <laughs> so um, there are things on your, when you're going through a home inspection, when the inspector is there, the things that might flag concerns for your HVAC, obviously um, if it's doesn't, if it's not cooling, then you might have a leak. And those are things that you need to have looked at and be concerned if it is um, missing any parts, which is, it can happen. Um, those are things to look at because those will flag your HVAC to potentially not be covered by your home warranty, right? So 
look for things like if it's not blowing cold enough air, even if it comes on, you might be low on Freon. And that's something you should address before escrow closes or before the transaction closes, because as you said, we're not going to cover known pre-existing conditions. Okay. Thank you. Uh, number five question from Unita. What is the average lifespan of water heat? The average span of water heater is about 10 years. Um, so usually after 10 years, it's getting older. But I mean, I have my house for 16 years and it's still good. Knock on wood. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, um, you know, just depend on the, the usage too and how many people in the house, right? So. I died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the last question for Sandy. Uh, do you recommend a sewer line inspection during the home inspection and why? I personally think it's a great idea, especially if there are trees in the yard, because the number one claim that home warranty gets is for plumbing stoppages, it's not air conditioning. Those are the most stressful ones, but plumbing stoppages is our most popular claim. And a lot of the stoppages are caused by tree roots. They break the line and that's not covered by your home warranty, right? So those are things to be, I mean, especially if there's trees in the yard, I would absolutely recommend that for your clients, just so they know. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the last question for you, Lita. Uh, what types of maintenance would you recommend for your HVAC system? I would say do a cleaning, right? Just like any house. Um, once I move into the property, I usually ask the buyers if you guys get it clean. I do clean my house like the ductwork for like once a year, you know, things like that. So you just do some kind of maintenance, just like your refrigerator. Sometimes you need to pull out your kitchen refrigerator to get all the dust in the back. Um, just like any HVAC, as long as you have a clean maintenance, I think it will run a little bit more smoother each year. Okay, thank you. So those are all the pre-existing questions we have. So we'll open up the question for the floor, right? We'll do the, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do this first. And are you doing the online one, the Zoom? I can't see the Zoom one. Okay, so anybody have any questions? No question? Yet? Okay, I have a question. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, okay. I, my question is regarding just mentioned about the sewage inspection. So if someone does a sewage inspection, they see there's tree roots and they, they do that, what they call that, hydro jetting. Hydro -jetting. Um, so they done that. So later on, they found there's more problems that cover. So no, the tree, the failures caused by tree roots are not going to be covered. At all. Right. And if you clear the stoppage, their immediate problem goes away. There are long-term problems. They still have a break in their line, mm -hmm. right? So you can clear the stoppage, but they're still going to have a break on their line. And that's the issue. I see. Okay. So what type of sewage pipes you will cover if you don't cover the tree? Uh, normal stoppages just due to, you know, normal junk <laughs> okay. in, the, in the lines that clog it up. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. So let's talk. Um, we cover your stove and we'll try to fix it. And if we can't fix it, we're going to replace it. You're not getting an antique stove. <laughs> um, we're going to offer you a stove that has all of the same features as your current stove. And, and you're going to take a cash out instead. And then you're going to go buy whatever you want. But the cash out is based on the home warranties cost, not the retail cost. And most home warranties pay 40 to 60% less than retail because we have tremendous buying power. We're nationwide companies, right? So... We match all your features. We don't match your brand. And most people take cash outs on appliances. <laughs> Unless you already have GE, then we're rock stars. Okay, Sandy, how about the, uh, the coverage for uh, attached versus detached ADUs? Um, I could answer that. Like, basically, we do cover the attached or detached ADU. The attached is more like a mother-in-law unit. You just have to pay an extra. And then the, as well as the ADU, you have to pay an extra fee for it. We do sell them, though. Okay, thank you. I do have one question. Now, um, in terms of the air conditioner, especially during summertime, we have a lot of, uh, our client has pretty much a number one problem. Now, when client calls in, there's a long wait. What is the best way to handle that while waiting for the home warranty weeks or weeks going out? Um, I don't know about going weeks to weeks. Usually, if we will try to get the vendors that have the first available time. If our vendors is not available, then we will try to go into the reimbursement for us, which means like you could find your own vendors. But keep it in mind, like Sandy was saying, that we're paying a wholesale price versus like retail. So your reimbursement, so if you're paying retail, just saying like you're paying 2000 
then we might reimburse you 1500. It's not gonna be fully retail price, if that makes sense. Your best bet is to always talk to your rep first um, and get permission to go outside the warranty. So you can talk about potential reimbursement ahead of time. Because July and August and September, it does happen. People do wait longer than anyone wants to. But that's when you have your relationship with your home warranty rep can be vital. Thank you. And don't do like your job right away without asking for permission ever, because that's going to be automatically not going to be covered. So always ask first. <clears throat> Hi, there's a question on, um, so do you look at the home inspection report on a home and let's say if it says on there, oh, the air conditioner is on its last leg or end of life, um, do you take that into consideration on whether when it breaks later after escrow, will it be fixed when you have something like that in home inspection it's about end of life or uh, should be replaced? I think she answered a question earlier, like we don't, uh, as long as it's a normal wear and tear, we, we don't look at the life end. As long as it's, that, that it's working that time during the home inspection, it should be good. Okay. And we don't see your home inspections. We don't ask for them. We only ever ask for them if we need to help you overturn a denial. So we okay. don't know what your home inspection says. Okay, that was a question right. too, whether you look at the home inspection. One quick question. Can we talk about the price here? Um, I think like it's better if you just reach out to the rep because all of us have different a little bit of so like, uh, price. My, yeah, so we, my question is, how do we advise our clients in terms of buying a home warranty in terms of right now what's the latest, greatest about coverage in terms of roof, plumbing, everything's like a premium package or a basic package, something like that. I will always go with the upgrade because the more you purchase, the better will be. Like just any insurance, you, the less you purchase, the less coverage you will have. Um, I think like right now, we're all going to be increasing price. I know we're going to be changing price the next couple of months as well. So I think put a little bit more on a home warranty. So it does not mean we're going to have to finish the whole budget, but at least you have a room to wiggle to be able to play that extra roof or washer dryer you need to purchase or refrigerator, whatever package that you want to purchase. We do have a questions online from Mindy. Um, please advise if seller can obtain a home warranty when their home is listed on the market and can be transferable to buyer. Yes, uh, we call it listing coverage or seller's coverage. There's a daily rate. Um, it starts as soon as the order's placed and they have listing coverage until escrow closes but then that policy needs to roll over to the buyer um, and it, it's seamless. So, and we bill it all, I think we all bill it out the same, one, uh, one invoice through escrow and it'll just say listing coverage, you know, X amount per day, $1.50, $2, whatever it is. And then the buyer's coverage at three, four, five hundred dollars $500. And the one, in, uh, one invoice gets sent to escrow. And the best part about that is it's seamless for the new buyer. Um, and generally speaking, you don't have a lot of pre-existing condition denials. If someone had listing coverage, the new buyer has the comfort of knowing there was already a home warranty on the property. So there are fewer denials due to pre-existing conditions. So just trying to clarify that. So let's say if I have a home warranty, um, been two months and then we open escrow, the buyer asked for a one year home warranty. So we'll continue with the 10 months plus the additional two months that we have to pay additionally or how? Yeah, we prorate them. So if someone has a home warranty and they go into a real estate transaction, we, you prorate the what's left, the 10 months, and then add on whatever the, to get to 13 months or 12 months and send a revised bill to, to escrow. So they can absolutely transfer it. Okay, thank you. Any more question here? Yes, good morning. Uh, any policy uh, differences between tenant uh, tenants occupy or owners occupy? For us, we, we don't. Everything is the same because we have one straight policy between the basic and upgrade for either tenants or for homeowner. Okay, thank you. Keep in mind with tenants, they always want things fixed immediately. And for all the things that home warranty is as an industry, super speedy is not one of them. Um, and so keep that in mind. You know, it, making tenants happy same day is sometimes a huge challenge for home warranty. What's your take on emergency repairs? Define emergency. Um, no, I'm, I'm teasing you because we all define it differently. Yeah. Um, not having hot water is not an emergency. Not having any water is an emergency. A gas leak is an emergency. Um, it has to, the home has to be unlivable for it to be 
truly an emergency. We try to expedite service, but again, that's where your relationship with your home warranty rep is super important. Well, let's we can take, we can get these things done outside of uh, the the you know internal. Just as an example, say a roof leak. It's generally not an emergency. So so a contractor can come out in two weeks after. Well, that? they're not going to come out when it's raining because it's not safe, right? And things have to dry. So okay. yeah, sometimes a week, ten days. 14 days might be acceptable for to get someone out to look at a roof leak. Okay. And then just a comment, uh, you've sent me before the electronic um, brochure, which was very helpful. So Sandy, thank you. I don't know if other companies do that. Any more questions here? And we don't have any more questions online, so we can wrap it up. Thank you so much. On behalf of West San Gabriel Valley Realtors, thank you for our guest speaker for a very informative presentation. Okay, attendance drawing. All WSGVR members are included in attendance drawing. Not all can be displayed, but all are included. Today, our pot is at $375. If we don't get a winner, $25 gets added to the pot each week until someone wins. If we get a winner, pot will begin again at $25. If for our breakfast meeting, uh, oh, if for our last breakfast meeting of the year, we still don't have a winner, we will draw names until we get a winner. Winner must be in person at the association to win. When your name is called, you must announce that you are present. If I call your name three times and you do not respond, we will move on, no exceptions. Who will it be? <laughs> Wilson Juan. Wilson Juan. Nobody? Wilson Juan. Okay. That's it. Not here. Okay, Amazon gift card drawing. We will select three winners from those attending in person. Each will receive a $25 Amazon card. Good luck. Who will be the winner? Let's guess. One over there. <laughs> okay. Emmy Tarucci. Tararucci. Next one is, oh. Yin, you chose your own card. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good thing. Is that a third one is Mary Scott. Oh, congratulations to the winners. Okay, please make sure to participate in our education class, uh, classes. A list of upcoming classes is displayed on your screen. Okay, we have CRMLS virtual training. It's June 28th at 9 a.m. to 10 and cost is free. 45 hour DRE license renewal, continuing education. It's July 7th, 9.30 to 12.30. Cost is $85. Commercial seminar proposed government changes, technical issues come, uh, concerning the 1031 exchange. It's Tuesday, July 11th from 12 to one and cost is free. And CRMLS virtual training matrix searching 101, Wednesday, July 12, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Cost is free. Okay, now we have the 50-50 raffle. All right, who's the... Uh... Oh, how much? $73. Wow. $73. Who will be the lucky winner? I hope nobody's left. Okay, ready? One, four, five, three, two, zero. Who is the lucky winner? No, three, two, uh, five, three, two, zero. Last four digit, five, three, two, zero. You got it. All right, Buck. Buck is lucky. Lunch is on him for me. 
Okay. At this time, if you submitted an announcement form, please come up and make your announcement. You have 30 seconds. Or if you didn't register for Caravan but would like to pitch a listing, please come up to the front with your flyer. Your listing must be active in the MLS. Does anybody have listings first? Oh, announcement, uh, do it over there. Okay, so let me see, who's the first one? Oh, Yin Burr is the first one. Oh, every, everybody, can you guys sit down please and listen to the announcements? Really appreciate it. Good morning. My name is Yin Burr. I am the chair of the Global Business Council. We are offering the membership a great event that we have spent months in the planning. And it's the Global Summit. It's going to be on July 7th. Friday, July 7th is the information is in your bulletin. We have invited great speakers on subjects like immigration, foreign taxes. Uh, we have a lender panel and also escrow and title panel. Please register, it is a free event. Even though it's a free event, we need you guys to register so that we know how many people are coming so that we can order the right amount of food. So if we run out of food, those people who have not registered will be out of <laughs> lunch. So please register, it's a free event and hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Brandon. All right, everyone. Next week, we have the special events, uh, July 4th celebration at the board in the morning. So please join us and dress in your 4th of July, red, white, and blue. We will have a couple special uh, people coming to, uh, I guess, special, um, I don't know what the word is, a, su a surprise guest. There we go. Um, and then the other thing is we're going to have food, so please come hungry, and please show up early so that you can get the food. I know some of you didn't get some today, so please show up. But again, um, join us next week, and uh, can you guys believe it's already almost July 4th? Crazy. All righty. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a great week. Thank you. Bob and Yolanda, you're next. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, we're going to have a golf tournament. Oh, I'm sorry, not a golf tournament. It's a networking event, July 14. And this is for those of you that are not golfing. But um, do come for dinner if you don't. And if you want to try out for golf, uh, all you have to do is just bring your putter. Guaranteed to have fun. So please join us on Friday, July 14th, 12 o'clock registration. We're going to have a lot of fun. And if you're not a golfer, no worries. Dinner. An awesome dinner. Again, this is one of our biggest fundraisers for the foundation. So please think of it as also contributing and giving back to our community and to our youth. And we are also asking for help. Um, if all of you, not just the affiliates, but the affiliates who are here, but also the wonderful agents and brokers, we are asking for door prizes as part of our fundraiser for our giveaway gifts. So please, if you can donate a prize, a gift card, a gift basket, make sure your name, your card, your sticker is on it and leave it at the front desk. Let them know where it is for the golf tournament. We will acknowledge you that evening. So a lot of fun, save the date. Thank you. Oh. I heard last person in the clubhouse buys the drink. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So come on, come on down. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, please join us next week, June 29, 2023, as the membership special event committee will be hosting a July 4th celebration. Breakfast will begin at, okay, remember this, breakfast will begin at 8. 30, not 9, 8, 30, followed by games, prizes, patriotic contests, dressing your best red, white, and blue. Okay, now don't forget to vote. Today's the last day to vote for all your, for all the direct, for the six directors, so don't forget to vote. And did you guys enjoy the pastries this morning? Yeah. Yay. Oh, one more. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more announcement. I apologize. Wen Lee from Aria, Tai County. I apologize, fully apologize. 
Good morning, everyone. Um, I am Wen Lee. I am the uh, ARIA Tri-County President for 2023. And we do have a event that's coming up next Friday uh, for member appreciation uh, for our chapter. But it, we welcome all new, ch new members too. So we're having it at the Ola Resto Bar in Covina um, on Friday. It's going to be from six to nine o'clock um, we welcome you guys. We always are looking for new members. Um, and, you know, again, well, we're going to leave the flyer out. Okay. So we do look uh, to, you know, meet and greet everyone. And it's a mixer and basically, Carol. <laughs> so um, we do have a lot of committee members basically here at West San Gabriel. And we really do appreciate your support. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Albert has an announcement. Very quickly for the election, thanks, Victoria, for reminding everyone. By today at 10.05, you should receive the reminder email for the last day to vote, as well as in that email, there's a Zoom link for you to log in to look at the final election result. We're going to display on the big screen. For those who want to see weakness to right at this here office, we'll display on the big screen too for you to see the final result. Okay, so thank you. 4 p.m. exactly 4 p.m. So the the ballot will be closed exactly at four, and we lock in. Maybe at 4 or 5 we would display it. Yeah, don't vote last minute for those of you who are on Zoom. If you're still there, <laughs> okay. So vote before four o'clock. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining us for our meeting today. This meeting is adjourned, and thank you everyone.